In this video we're going to take a look at the basic way that you interact with an Oracle database and we're going to look at a language called SQL which stands for Structured Query Language. Structured Query Language is uh, pretty complex and there's a lot of different things that are out there so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, the two basic categories of SQL statements. One is called DML and the other one is called DDL. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language and what we're going to see here are things that you use to actually manipulate the data inside your database. So stuff like a select statement, an insert statement, an update statement. All of these things are going to be data manipulation language statements. Data definition language statements are things that you're going to use to actually create objects inside your database. So you're going to have stuff like create table, create index, create view. All of these things we're going to use to actually change around the way the data is going to be stored inside of our database. So the most basic example is the select statement. Select statement is the most fundamental thing that you'll do inside your database and it does exactly what it sounds like. It selects data. It's not something that you can ever hurt your database with. You can certainly select data from your database to take a look at provided that you have the right privileges that go along with it. The insert statement again is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to insert data inside your database. Um, Oracle does something called transactional processing. So when you insert things into your database, they're not really there yet. You have to do another step and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But the insert statement is obviously for uh, putting new data inside your database. The update statement, again, pretty much self-explanatory. You have data inside your database that you want to change for whatever reason. Uh, a good example might be, you know, your employees. You might have an employee where you store their home address or their cell phone number and they change for some reason. When uh, that information changes, you have to write a, a statement inside your database to update. Uh, another very popular one, obviously, command that's used a lot of time is the delete statement. And again, it does exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it deletes information out of your database. The DDL statements are things that actually create, and another popular one here is the alter command, where you create the, the um, objects inside your database that you're going to use. So obviously creating a table is going to create a, a brand new table that gives you the ability to go in there and start storing information. Uh, indexes allows Oracle to get the information quicker. Views allow us to uh, you know look at our database and the data inside of our database in different ways and makes it easier for me to you know query the information that's out there. The alter command also gives me the ability to go in there and change these around. Once I create a table, I'm not locked into this is the way it's always going to be forever. Uh, things change over time. Maybe I'll need to add a new column to my table. Maybe I store uh, a whole bunch of employee information and uh, now I want to store information about my employees Twitter accounts where you know I didn't have that information years ago. So when I created the employee table I didn't create a column to store Twitter information or uh, Facebook information or whatever it is that I want to store about my, my uh, employees. With DDL commands, I can alter a table and change it around and add a column or maybe drop a column or do something else to the structure of my database. Now, you can't do everything. It would be great if you could just, you know, completely reorganize your database from the top down and, you know, not lose any uh, anything that goes on. But certainly, you know, that's not possible. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, you can't do everything inside your database when you want to reorganize it. You'll have to do some restructuring uh, if you really want to completely change your database around, which is why it's really important to do the analysis up front when you're setting up your database. But this is just an introduction to the different types of SQL commands that are out there. And we're going to have uh, different videos on all the different ones, uh, the major commands that are out there. Obviously SQL is a pretty robust language. It's impossible to cover every single command that's out there. But we can look at most of the DML and most of the DDL commands that are out there and give you a pretty good overview of, um, you know, all of the different things that you can do inside of your Oracle database.